Well then, bunnykins, it's time once again to piss off the general population with another incendiary little installment of Steve's Unpopular Opinions! Yes. And this week I have a dilly of a pickle of a doozy of a whopper. I have not mentioned this out loud at all for fear of reprisal. Yes. Really, people would turn on me, attack me, throw telescopes at my beautiful, beautiful face in a rage, but it has to be said. It must. So here it is. The Eclipse. Yes. Fuck the Eclipse. <laughs> Fuck the fucking Eclipse. There was that, a time That would when be I a physically impossibility, yes. Yeah. There was a time when I would have been excited about the eclipse, and that was called sixth grade. Mm -hmm. I am surprised at how many of my friends went eclipse crazy. Yeah. Like, oh, what are, you, what are you doing on Monday? Well, it's a work day, so I'm just going to work and working. Why? What are you doing? Well, I'm driving three states away. Like, are, are you serious? Yeah. You can, just, you can just do that? You can just take off work? And drive three states away to watch the eclipse? Like, that's a thing for you? That must be nice. <laughs> and, and despite the fact that the eclipse was scientifically uh, predicted and came with no surprise, of course, conservative Christians saw it as a sign. Yeah, yeah. Like, even in our modern day, when we know that these things are happening, well... The fact that it's happening now is obvious, obviously a sign that Trump, because everything is Trump, everything is Trump right now. Yeah, and and they believe in witchcraft and superstition. So yeah, okay, yeah. you're you're still scared by the sun. I, I yeah, yeah. I, what am I supposed to tell you about that? <laughs> you know, what no. am I? <sighs> you know, what are you even supposed to say? I got really scared when the eclipse happened, and the reason is because I went to work. Yeah. And I had a full day, and I worked hard, and I got deliveries, and I was moving heavy 40, 50-pound boxes, and it was a difficult day. But then I would, I, oh, man, this cart is full. I better push this out and shelve it. And I would go out onto the floor, and there's just nobody in the store. Yeah, there's just nobody there, and like I know it's a Monday, but now it's a Monday afternoon, and there should be people here. We at least get a full cafe full of um, uh, Paul Mitchell hair salon students. <laughs> you know, uh, vague punk-looking women in tight, all black outfits, mm -hmm. and My Little Pony hair. At least at this period in time, and there was just nobody in the store, and that's when I started thinking. Everywhere is like this right now. <laughs> because for a large portion of America, this is like a freaking holiday. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get off of work and go see the eclipse. Like, that was everybody. So many people. That was so many people. Yeah. So then it finally happens, and they're saying, okay, there's some applause. Some people cried. <laughs> some <laughs> people just, cried? Which just blew my mind. Most people were let down, so I figure finally it's over. Finally, we're done with the eclipse. Thank God, you know there was such a, a people went freaking eclipse crazy, and now the eclipse is over, and I don't have to worry about it. But no, no, we're not done because I'm still gonna get like three weeks of lame eclipse pictures every yeah. time I go on social media now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I, I so, did. I'm not sorry. Fuck the eclipse. I did start start getting a bit annoyed leading up to the eclipse with all of the fucking memes to not look into the sun. Yeah. And yeah, and then who oh, looked into the sun? Christ. But so you know, so yeah, so I posted a couple of things. <laughs> yeah, and I just I loved, and while everybody is focusing on Donald Trump looking at the sun nobody is noticing the fact that like hey look it's the sun there's the eclipse do you see it melania and she's just standing there like do not touch me do not <laughs> touch me 
Yeah. I am standing here. I am taking pictures with you. Do not fucking touch me, Donald. <laughs> like she like seriously, her her body language is like she's a WWE tag team champion with yeah. someone who's starting to act erratic. And the person has a microphone and is talking, but in his other hand, he has a steel chair. Uh huh. And 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 so Melania is like, "Holy shit, he's about to turn on me." <laughs> that's the, that's her body language. She's just so tensed up. Like at any second, she's gonna start like uh, clawing her way out of the White House. Yeah. She's I, a I... To, she's a cat next to a bat. I always keep expecting her to break out with Don't cry for me, Argentina. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Do you think hey, do you think that she should that do you think that you can do this? Yes, you can! Oh, okay. That's good. <laughs> what should she do? Make your dreams come true. Okay, well that's good. I think that's good for everybody. <laughs> yes. Just do it! I love this so much. I love this so much. Hey, this is a this is a good one for our podcast right here. You should get to the point where anyone else would quit, and you're not going to stop there. Yeah, that's for us. <laughs>